Hey friends, um, I'm uh, I'm coming on here today uh, to to tell you a little bit about what's going on in my life and uh, uh, ask you for prayer. And um, so uh, about last week or a couple weeks ago, um, found out that uh, my mom actually has uh, cancer again. And so some of you that have been following the channel for a long time, you knew that. Uh, when I first began uh, Daily Disciple, that that was kind of in the midst of my mom's first uh, bout with uh, breast cancer. I was stage four breast cancer. That was very serious. And uh, God ended up healing her from that. And we are so thankful for that. Um, but we, she now has breast cancer again. And there's some issues in the lung and the liver that we suspect might be cancer as well. <sighs> This is really hard. This is really hard. Um, a lot of you know that I have seven siblings, and right now I have uh, three little sisters that are still in uh, in school, and they're being homeschooled right now by my mom, and so that provides a little bit more complication to the whole situation. Um, it looks pretty serious. It does. <sighs> you know, or I think God's been preparing. I mean, I can only talk about my own experience, so I'll talk about that. I think God's been preparing me for this um, in learning why he wounds us, in learning why even though we feel like we're doing things right and we're, we're owed kind of our dreams to come true, we're owed this kind of perfect life that, that, that we feel, okay, God, I did my part now. You do your part, right? Give me a good good life, good relationship, good career, good family life, exactly as I want it. And he doesn't he doesn't always do that. I mean, most times things don't work out the way that we that we exact wanted them, right? And we ask him why, God? Like I thought that was part of the deal. I thought it was I do this for you. And you do this for me, like kind of a transactional relationship. But that's not the way that God works at all. He uses these trials, these things in our life to show us that he is the most important. To show us that all these things that we relied on for comfort, all these things that we look to for satisfaction, they actually, they were not, they were nothing. They were nothing in light of, of who he is and how he wants to grow us. This season of life has been really hard, but I think it's been really hard because because God is teaching, teaching us something. He's teaching me something. He's teaching me that all the things that I look to for peace, for for satisfaction, for a sense of security, they're wiped away. At least, at least in some ways. The world feels really chaotic right now. The world feels really chaotic right now. And I think the only time that you, the only, the only thing that you can do is rely on God. And, and, and it would be just disingenuous of me to be like, hey, I have no doubts. I have no fears. I have no, it's okay. We're, we'll be fine. Uh, that's not the way I feel. But what I am confident of is this, that God, that the trials in your life that you experience, they will either harden you or soften you. They will either harden you or soften you. They will either make you moldable and ready to receive the lesson that God has for you and the, the teaching and the shaping and the transformation that God wants to take place within you. Or you will become hardened and bitter and angry at God because he didn't deliver what you thought he was obligated to deliver. And that decision to let it make you soft, to let it make you malleable, 
that is the hardest decision ever. Because it is so easy to choose the opposite. It is so easy to choose anger and, and frustration and bitterness. God, this is not how I wanted it. Whatever it is in your life, you say, God, this isn't how I wanted it. This isn't how I wanted it to play out. I thought you would, you would repay me what I think I deserve. Number one, we don't deserve anything. Everything is a gift. Every moment is a gift. And yet God, through these trials, through these pains, through this wounding, he's doing something so glorious underneath the surface that we couldn't even comprehend. Now, to me, the crux of the issue is this. This is what I've been talking about with my wife is when stuff like this happens, we know that God is working all things out for our good and his glory. We can believe that intellectually. But will we believe it on a heart level? Do we believe that God is good? We know that God has the reins. That's not a problem. I, I, I can gr- ga- grasp my, my mind about that to believe that God is sovereign. I know that. But do I believe that God is good? Do I trust his decisions? Do I trust his working? Do I trust his plan? Even if it's not the plan that I wanted. That is... That's the hardest thing. That is the hardest thing. I'd ask you guys to pray for my mom. Pray for my family. It's a hard season. And um, and just thank you, um, you know, um, for, for supporting uh me and my family. I thank you on a ministry level for supporting Daily Disciple, for allowing me to do this, and also just have the flexibility to, to help care for my family. Thank you for everyone that supports. That is such a blessing to me. I think often about Psalm 23 in, in times of my life that have been hard, in this season of life, not only with this, but with a lot of different things, have been. it's been really hard. And I think about Psalm 23 and I think about when he leads me beside still waters and in green pastures and green pastures and beside still waters. I think that's a picture of heaven. A picture of heaven when we all gather together. We're in perfect peace and harmony. There's no more sin. And we're sitting in a green pasture beside still waters and there's peace and there's rest. There's no more hurry or panic or fear. or It's just rest. And slowness, contentment, confidence, trust, hope, joy. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And I think as much as we can embody that rest, that trust, that slowness in our life right now, we can get a taste of what God has for us in the new heavens and new earth even amidst uncertainty and fear. That's what I want for you, to embrace a slow, restful, trusting, faithful life. Not clinging so tightly onto your dreams that when they are crushed, you deny God or you you get bitter towards him, but trusting that his ways are good. That's what I want for you. Thank you for watching. God bless, friends.